So, as we already know our names, we will start like speaking about from where we come and why we decided to make this kind of micro invasional and micro emergency architecture. Maybe some of you watched uh, Eurovision. This thing uh, arose like during the preparation to Eurovision, and maybe some of you also know the motto of Eurovision, which is celebrate diversity. And this is maybe our answer to this, uh, because like now Kyiv city in Ukraine is in a way like really trying to invade in the street arts and public art. And uh, it's not only uh, this kind of excrements is situated on the Maidan square, but also its branding of revolution is trying like to overlap how democratical it becomes our cities and how uh, progressive is uh, city municipalities and mayor uh, who you also know is uh, uh, Klitschko. So uh, we try to speak about that this coloring is not only about commercial, but is now slowly climbing up the walls and climbing up the walls where they can stay. And we are speaking about murals and how they look in the eyes of city municipality. Uh, yeah, maybe we will switch next uh, image. So uh, the, this one is, was on Maidan, on uh, one of the houses which was really uh, damaged uh, in the revolution process. The building was uh, totally burned. There was uh, like thousands of dead people. And right now, yes, you saw this kind of uh, national, I don't know, kind of change, uh, change, yeah, really strange design. And uh, also we have like a map you can visit. I invite you all to visit this, uh, the murals of Kiev uh, website. And you have so many kind of uh, red points and uh, those kind of red points are uh, beautiful images. Uh, which are kind of like that. They are all um, made by the money of uh, the citizens, uh, but uh, actually we don't have a choice. We even don't can, I don't know, to look uh, which are the artists, how the work looks like. Uh, there is uh, so many um, like private uh, investors who just want to uh, go in the city and use uh, their money to make some kind of... Uh, uh, strange pieces of art which are really like mm, we don't have the choice to choose we have the, just uh, this kind of present of the municipality like one of this one is a city center this one was attacked by one of uh, Kiev's group uh, uh, maybe Natalka can uh, tell something more. Yeah, this is one of those like murals who do have the dialogue with um, society and it was made after announced by a group, an anarchist group, uh, Children's of Machno, and they proclaim that they're attacking this guy because this is a picture of the hero from the beginning of 20th century, the last hetman called Skarapatsky, who was one of the, uh, who was sharing side with the Germans and like on a, and change and transform the Kyiv in a very um, aristocracy and I think like supporting with the white whites at that time. So for uh, that group, Machno Children's, for anarchists, it was understandable like to represent such a heroes and we have lots of them there. Yeah. <clears throat> Next, maybe image. Uh, so uh, those kind of uh, like for most parts of the the, the citizens, uh, the advertisement stuff put on the plastic or some kind of those images put in on modernism uh, houses are really like a, a visual trash in the city because we don't have uh, any any choice. It's uh, also passing all... I don't know if you heard something about the communization process in uh, Ukraine that uh, most of beautiful mosaics, uh, barelief, uh, I don't know, sculptures are really like totally mm, cleaning up of the city structure. So uh, there is some kind of uh, those pictures or 
huge uh, advertising staff who are just covering the uh, beautiful modernist past. Uh, maybe we can switch on the next uh, image. Uh, so um, I, I hope you have in your head the map of those kind of murals in the city, really <clears throat> that took the most part of the city. And this uh, is another map. It's a map of... Uh, <laughs> Kiev school Biennale. <laughs> yeah, so percepting like these kind of murals and the starting of the dialogue in a way of uh, painting our favorite walls and sometimes favorite buildings with their taste uh, and with their heroes, we percept it is uh, in a way as a, a war. Authorities proclaim a war. They try to invade in our uh, public art and street art spaces. So we decided that maybe. It is a war and we will answer and uh, we also start invading in their places. During Biennale we also was using a couple of locations, uh, some of them still in center, some of them was out of it. Uh, but the main venue, the, the most important is that the main venue was situated in the House of Clothes, which is in the very center, but it was long-lasting building of the Soviet uh, trade market, uh, trade, uh, trade mall shopping mall, uh, which were never finished, never like uh, fully with shops inside. And we just overtaken like two levels of it with uh, the Biennale. And actually the whole Biennale was also overlapping and taking it from authorities to a more grassroots and uh, independent uh, organizational type. So this is two levels of crashed, never used, like, but still uh, invaded. Yeah. Thank you, and uh, we will maybe show the video, it's possible. It's or not? No. <laughs> I don't know, it will be possible. So I don't know if you really understand this uh, hard uh, concept of uh, uh, this kind of war between uh, like little groups of people which are not supporting by the government or staff and uh, this one's one of the examples that we wanted to show in the video the like the in the action in this place like a performance there and the number of the people there <laughs> i can sing also <laughs> Timur is coming. <laughs> and uh, in this video you will see a performance of Koptiv. It will be really <clears throat> interesting uh, performance theater. <laughs> And Timur. Yeah. I may be shortly comment. We will not go through all the eight minutes of, but it was one of the performances of the School of Lonesome. And it is uh, made by performer Mikhail Koptev. I hope maybe some of you have heard about him. And uh, he's uh, based from Luhansk. He's working, yeah, now you can see his models coming up. And it was also speaking about uh, of 
norms and how we perform and how we perceive the norms of uh, society and the political norms and that is why it was about School of the Lonesome. Just like a short video to show you how the whole building was a bit invaded and sometimes even the minds of the people there. House of Clothes is one of very interesting examples of uh, modernist architecture, post-war international modernism building, which is of course should be clean and shiny with the big windows and clear floor. Now, actually we're invading not only in Kiev, and I know, I think that Dana can now continue with other projects. this video for the hours and hours and hours really but <laughs> we will go to another city in Ukraine I don't know if you started to feel this difference of uh, like this government aesthetic uh, in the city like the government aesthetic is really nationalist really like with Shivanka stuff traditional blah, blah, blah. and uh, it's really impossible to get some money to make some kind of those projects so uh, it's really hard to make some participatory practices or artist practices which are not in this beautiful aesthetic image of the city. And now we are in Vinnytsia, it was an art residence. Uh, it's really uh, was related to this idea of uh, opening uh, like uh, <coughs> uh, abandoned spaces and um, uh, uh, there you can see uh, abandoned uh, cinema, uh, which calls uh, uh, Russia, uh, Russia, and uh, it is the most uh, big cinema in the city. The most huge, like, strategic point that uh, the cinema takes in the city. And in nineties, it was uh, uh, this building was. Hmm, uh, selling from the from this, uh, there is a like the own owner. I don't know how to say it. This private o owner, yeah, and uh, he just really closed the doors of the cinema, and he's waiting. He's waiting to to to. to uh, for the people of Vinica really forgot that they have a really beautiful cinema to sell after like couple of years this space to make like a commercial building stuff I don't know uh, McDonald's IKEA or whatever and uh, in uh, two um, um, how to say it <laughs> in, in one month uh, yeah the the artist was came was invited here it's one of the picture of the structure for a city library and cinema so like the function of the cinema was bring on the street so the people came there I heard the stories about how the couples uh, was just spending the time together before the cinema was uh, closed the doors so it really was like some many stories of the past that we heard and uh, also uh, it's a uh, create uh, it was really a participatory project the people was came there to build uh, together and it's create also an, a new community in the city 
So the the young guys and girls uh, created their own uh, uh, cinematographic club, and they continue to work, uh, but in other space right now, and um, also. In second uh, image, you can see also this interior of the cinema. So all is really nice preserved. There was an exhibition of Jana Kadirova. Uh, th she made this work with uh, also with the citizens. They created some kind of those portraits with the citizens. And she took some uh, pictures from the museum, from uh, uh, famous people of Vinica. So she mixed the, f uh, um, the, the past and the future, and she brings like, a new activity in the cinema. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, I don't know, it was really great. And after that, uh, we continue to make some kind of those projects uh, in uh, different kind of cities in Ukraine. Uh, we made the expedition to Lugansk region, uh, and uh, this group of architects and artists continue their work in other cities in Ukraine. So we can uh, also find in social networks DNAD initiative, and uh, you can, yeah, and I will pass the word. Okay, I will continue, maybe Dana, you can open the other folder. I will continue with the other uh, invasions because like this was examples of how to invade in a space and the next project is actually the basis uh, of what we are speaking now today is how to invade in a city and actually in a forest in a city in a very center of it. Uh, we do it together and in a frame with a DIY festival called Distva in Ukraine and uh, this festival runs for almost five years and try to connect all the all those who are interested in about ecological issues of uh, recycling, changing scene, but like also changing the mind of that you can do everything on your own. It's not so hard and complicated to learn how to uh, make music, how to uh, make graffitis, how to make everything, how to do all on your own. So we also uh, decided to make the workshop on uh, DIY architecture and how to erode these uh, objects not far from you, starting with the benches, but also like for the festival was most needed, like the stage and there, the film. So this is actually the meeting point of uh, Pilarama and VCRC. And this is also the meeting point for those who were interested in to build from Disto Festival. And now like this process is still continuing and ongoing. Uh, the whole process was to also to go together with Scan Shop, which is there on Petrivska Street, because this is here you can see the whole garages community, which is um, situated uh, strategically not far from Academy of Arts, strategically not from, from Podil district, which is kind of downtown or student part of the city. And uh, maybe something more about why we call it UFO and why it is so cosmic and all the pictures and building process, I will switch to Dana. Yeah, and uh, this uh, place is actually nearby from this uh, house of clothes, uh, from this modernism uh, architecture in Kyiv. And so uh, with our collective, we thought that it could be really interesting to bring some kind of uh, this cosmic uh, atmosphere and to build this with the people, but in 2016 together. So we have so many different kind of objects in this forest. And uh, I really want to invite the people who are really interested to work with us on this place. We have so many uh, possibilities, like it was a stairs in the theater, it was a first like action when we put this UFO in uh, the sky and uh, <laughs> how to say it? Yeah, and uh, we continue and continue to develop the structure. We made the structure bigger and bigger, and we never get enough to <laughs> to continue to do this. And uh, uh, we made so many also recycling stuff to take some pieces of, of steel. And uh, it was always like we put, made a, a concert and exhibitions, and we made our little bar to get some foundings on the beers to put all in construction materials because we have so many ideas, but the money still is a question. <laughs> So we will show uh, another Coptic performance at this place because we are really friends with him. And uh, the video, 
uh, which Timur will help us to show. I don't know. It will be like just here, just to give you um, an idea what is looks like in the night. <laughs> It's actually not only Coptive's performances are happening there, but through all the, it was one season of a very active inter, uh, active work there. It was like music concerts, which were continuation of Distvo. It was hardcore concerts, like noise music concerts, some alternatives, you know, like not to see only the mainstream, but we really want to present some kind of overthinking, not mainstream project, which is um, given Given the city, yeah, given the place for, for like kind of city freaks, we are uh, the, like people who are not really accepted. We are not on Vishvanka style. We want to do our kind of activities. So it's yeah. <laughs> was our friend Fanny and yeah but still so many complicated stories about this place and unfortunately this year when we came there this year so a couple of uh, this was last weekend or no oh, there's 20th of April. Okay, Natalka, I will give you one. Yeah, we were planning the next season. We were always preparing the new activities, but as a, a white swarm was falling down on a stage, our stage was burned. We're still like hoping to develop this place. Uh, we still have benches. We still have ideas how to develop because force still big so we actually planning to invite you we're looking for we are looking for people we're looking for money we're looking for ideas to build their more place and more things more like uh, diy architecture and kind of reclaiming these places in even if we need to build it in stone in concrete in woods whatever <laughs> the thing is like that we we are there and we want to do it and we want to make the places thank you <laughs> 